Hello guys, welcome back. Today we've got a build order for the Dravidians, a new civilization introduced into Age of Empires 2 with the uh, Dynasties of India DLC. Uh, this one's going to be a 20 population man at arms into archers or men at arms into archers uh, build order. So uh, it's quite a good one, it's pretty fast uh, men at arms rush. Uh, the reason we're able to do this one is because of the plus 200 wood that you get when you reach the feudal age with the Dravidians, it just means that we can uh, you know, be a little bit more relaxed with the wood. Uh, but also the fact that they get a bonus uh, where the barracks technologies cost 50% less, so um, makes the uh, upgrade for men at arms quite cheap actually. So, first thing we're doing six on sheep, usual sort of build. And then what we're doing is we're going to send uh, a, the seventh villager to try and lure the first boar. So, it's really important that you can find your boar. Uh, which if you do do your scout, uh, sheep scouting, shouldn't have any problems. That's why I've left it on uh, this sort of view at the moment, rather than uh, having the fog of war turned off like I normally have. So you could see that you can quite easily find your sheep in that time. Uh, once you've got your boar coming in, you're going to send three over to wood. Um, by the time your boar comes in, you should just finish that sheep. And then be able to uh, take the, uh, the boar out there. All the while that's happening, just keep scouting your map. Obviously, keep getting that map information as much as you can. Just speed it up slightly. Now I've got three on wood. Next village is going to come out and draw the uh, second boar. So we've got that one in. And then the next village is come out, it's going to make a house and then go to wood. Probably could have done that the other way around to be fair. Not sure. And then we're adding another one onto boar. And then following on from that, next four villages come out are gonna go over to the berries, so uh, I'll speed it up again. Uh, but yeah, this build order for the Dravidians is quite a good one. It really gives you a good early uh, men at arms rush, uh, which is gonna be a little bit quicker than uh, other uh, men at arms rushes, certainly quicker than the standard build. Although they don't really get a, a dark AG code bonus, um, tweaking the build uh, does allow you to get up to uh, 20 population as opposed to your standard uh, build order for men at arms. As you can see, we've got uh, we've just sort of split those uh, villagers onto sheep there. I'm just going to wait for one more to come out there uh, for the berries, and then we've just got two villagers left to come out. First one's going to come out and make a barracks. The second one's going to come out and make a house, and then we're going to get loot. So we'll speed that one up a little bit. So there's the barracks. There's the house. Loom's coming in. Um, very slightly short of food. Uh, if you just garrison like we did there, uh, you should be able to uh, click up OK. Um, as soon as you've clicked up, we're going to send two over to gold, one over to straggler trees, and then those two villages we're going to split. One's going to go over to berries, the other one's going to go over to wood. So let's uh, speed up a little bit. There's nothing else really to do at this point. Uh, if you can, start adding some farms in. That'd be really beneficial. You might not be able to get your mining camp straight away, so just wait for, you know, you've got enough uh, gold for that, but it uh, should be absolutely fine. Shouldn't impact on the production of the militia there. As you can see, that's just gonna be built. Well, that's a slight delay. There we go. And they're just obviously gonna go forward. And by the time we hit village, we should have enough uh, gold for the Man at Arms upgrade. We just need those two villages to drop off uh, their 10 gold. As I say, try uh, perhaps adding some farms when you can here. Probably add uh, a couple in a second. There we go. Ideally, we want to be adding about four farms in total um, from now and into early feudal age. But yeah, they're going forward. Now we're going to take one of those villages from the sheep. Uh, send him over to make archery range. Gonna need to build a house as well, um, but uh, we've got double bit axe being researched, we've got man at arms being researched. So I'm using a wood villager here, you could probably go away with using a gold villager instead. Uh, and then again, we just need to be mindful, we need to keep adding some more farms in where we can. We're gonna send three villagers over to gold, so the first one's going over there now, that'll give us a total of five on gold. And then following on from that, we're going to send a few villagers over to wood. So we're going to send three over to wood, and we'll get a second one uh, camp where we can. As you can see, those sheep villagers went onto the straggler tree. 
not going to make another farm in one of those. Uh, so we'll just have two of those sheep villages left and then the three that are going to come out um, onto, this, onto the wood are going to be joined with those two. Uh, with a second number cattle up there. For the while, just keep going in, uh, raiding the enemy. And as soon as your archer ranges up, keep producing archers. Uh, and then start warding up. Try and get the blacksmith, obviously, as soon as you can. Probably could have got away with just three farms. And then you may be able to get your blacksmith up a little bit sooner. But uh, we went for four. But just a little, a little note there for you. So we're going to have two more on the wood. And then at that point, it's just a case of uh, obviously get your blacksmith out, research fletching, and uh, keep adding farms. So we'll just uh, wait for this next one to come out. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this build. Uh, it's just a case of you know, trying to get walled up where you can. Uh, you may even want to take one, a wood villager off here once you've got your blacksmith down and help wall up. Uh, try and get your base as secure as possible, but keep going in, uh, raiding attacking doing what damage you can and that is it for this build order guys so thank you very much uh, do check out the other dynasties of india dlc build orders for age of empires 2 we've got quite a few uh, we will have quite a few when i get around to finish them all off but that's it i'll see you on the next one